The new Freddy rework is live on the PTB, and I'll be going over all the changes made to his power and game mechanics. I hope you're ready. I'm not just ready, I'm ready Freddy. Let's start with some of the biggest changes to Freddy's game mechanics. First, he no longer sees survivor auras while they're asleep. I think most survivors will agree that having their position revealed all the time wasn't very fun and made escaping Freddy, even after losing him in a chase, impossible. The next change is that survivors no longer suffer an action speed penalty while asleep. So now, waking up is optional as it doesn't impact generator repair speed. And third, Freddy can now attack survivors even if they're awake. To explain how a dream demon can kill people who are awake, BHVR stated that technically survivors are asleep when Freddy is the killer. But it's a lesser sleep called micro sleep, where they passively fall into deep sleep after 60 seconds. If Freddy attacks a survivor during micro sleep, they're instantly put into deep sleep. Additionally, while in micro sleep, survivor's ability to see Freddy is impaired. Outside 32 meters, survivors can't see Freddy at all. Between 16 and 32 meters, survivors can catch glimpses of him. And within 16 meters, survivors will always be able to see Freddy. So if survivors don't suffer any penalties while asleep and can be attacked while awake, what does being fully asleep do exactly? Sleeping survivors will have to deal with Freddy's dream world abilities, the first one being his dream snares. After a short charge time, Freddy can spawn pools of blood on the ground that slow survivors and cause them to scream. The catch is that these traps only trigger if the survivor is fully asleep. Freddy's second ability is called Dream Projection. After a short channel time, Freddy can teleport to any generator on the map. While channeling, survivors will see the generator spew blood, which warns them of his approach. The cooldown of this ability is very long, but for each survivor who is fully asleep, the cooldown reduces by 15%. So if survivors choose not to wake up, they'll be seeing a lot more Freddy in their trials. Add-ons Freddy equips can also cause additional effects for survivors who are fully asleep. So now that we've gone over what happens when survivors are asleep, how do they wake up? There are four ways to exit the dream world, the first being to find a teammate who isn't asleep and use the wake-up action. This method initially only takes 4 seconds, but takes an additional 4 seconds every time a survivor wakes up like this, up to a max of 16 seconds. The second way to wake up is by failing a skill check. Whether it's healing, repairs, or sabotage, failing a skill check will instantly wake up survivors at the cost of losing some progress and revealing their position. The third way to wake up is by finding an alarm clock highlighted by a white aura somewhere on the map. This object will always spawn as far away as possible from the survivor, making it the most time-consuming method for waking up. However, waking up like this pauses the microsleep timer for 30 seconds, so the survivor will stay in microsleep longer with this method. And the final way to wake up is to get hooked. I don't recommend using this method more than twice for obvious reasons. So now that we've covered Freddy's dream world mechanics, let's discuss how he feels to play. New Freddy feels like a more mobile hag. He can set traps just like the hag, but doesn't have to stop moving to do so, making it easier to get around the map and even use them during chases. He can teleport like the hag, but it's a separate ability with a long cooldown. He also has the standard 115% move speed of most killers, which is faster than the hag's 110% speed and makes him less reliant on his traps. That being said, Freddy remains an easy killer to loop if he either has no dream snare set up in the area or if the survivor he's chasing is awake, since dream snares only affect sleeping survivors. So overall, what do I think about him? I think he's a big improvement over old Freddy. Removing the awkward 7 second sleep transition where survivors could run to safety before Freddy could attack them makes people take him more seriously. His dream projection gives him some much needed map pressure and allows him to be a persistent threat. 
His Dream Snares offer both detection and chase time reduction benefits while still having counters, and requires careful placement to use them to their fullest potential. I think this rework was mostly a success, but in regards to his abilities, there's a lot of overlap with other killers. I think BHVR could definitely have come up with more creative powers for Freddy. I mean, if they're lacking inspiration, just watch one of his movies. He has like a bazillion ways he kills his victims. But anyways, that's my review on the new Nightmare. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe for future content.